Carlos Prates, a name to keep an eye on in the 170 pound division. This is one that has turned heads in terms of a welterweight prospect on his way up. His striking is among the best that it gets. I come from Taubaté, a really poor neighborhood. Most of my friends from there, they are on the prison or dead. The main goal is show the people of my city they can do what they like and also become a champion. I have a lot of experience. I was living in Thailand for five years and I fought a lot of times. I have more than 100 Muay Thai and kickboxing fights. I'm always really confident, no matter who is my opponent, because I know how hard I work. He's down, process laser foot. Oh! I don't feel any pressure, I'm just feeling happy. Beautiful Muay Thai by Carlos Prates. And really thankful for being able to do what I love. We worked so hard and then Contender Series come. I was really happy to sign. What a matchup we have at Welterweight in our featured bout on week four tonight out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Welcome to the Octagon, Carlos Prates. When I fought at the Contender Series, I was feeling like inside of my heart, I knew already I would sign the UFC. Contes just being an assassin right now on the feet. I have a lot of experience. I worked so hard to be on UFC Octagon. Oh, oh, the left staggers him. And oh my that goodness. will do it. A one-punch knockout for Carlos Prates. Smooth, calm, violent, absolutely nasty combos. He looked like prime, young, vintage Anderson Silva to me. This dude is absolutely in the UFC. When I win, is the best feeling ever. Now he's the beginning of a new era. Carlos Prates, one of the fighting nerds. The momentum that this team has lends itself to him getting the success that he is seeing inside the octagon. My UFC debut was really good. It was really important for me because I fought against a guy with really good experience. You ready to fight? Help, let's go. I think I lost the first round. He came with a really good game against me. Oh, and now pressuring Prates all the way back to the fence. After the first round, I saw him talk with his coach. He could say to try to take me down. If we can mix a takedown in, I love it, but you're not forcing shit, that's good. You're winning the round without it. All right, gentlemen, second round. Better fight. Better fight. Hell, let's go. When he tried to take down, I was thinking like he's hurt and he cannot get any kick or punch. He started to crush him, but on the second round, I knocked him out. the tables with one giant shot. Carlos Brates. Ready, fighter. Aggressive welterweights Charles Radke and Carlos Brates collide. Well, a lot of people talking about I'm a good striker. They say I look like Anderson Silva or Poitain. Oh, the oh. liver shot. Buckles up with a body shot. The nightmare, Carlos Brates may be just that for the rest of the welterweights. Certainly on paper, a step up in competition as Prates tries to extend his winning streak and move to 3-0 here in the UFC. I always try to knock my opponent out and make him give up. Oh! I'm really happy when I knock somebody out. This dude is powerful. The leech on the ropes, another left hand from Prates. Oh! oh that'll do it! The walk-off KO! for the nightmare! Carlos Prates has arrived! Carlos, the nightmare Prates! I think the future is be a champ, of course, because I'm planning to get back to the gym to learn, to train hard every day. In three fights, I cannot show all my game, everything what I can bring inside the octagon. When you see me doing grappling on the ground, you guys gonna be like, that guy is a real dude. That guy is really problem to all the guys on the division.